Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we've got a sticky MailChimp email form for you. Bottom of the screen there you'll see it. When I scroll down the screen it's going to roll up and stick to the top there. Really easy to do, nice little feature to have on your site if you're looking for some subs. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and we'll get rid of my little email opt-in there. Okay. Well, let's add a new little row here. Green button for a row, blue button for a section, dark button for a tab. I'm going to put a single column in there. Inside, I'm going to put an email opt-in. There it is right there. Now you need a MailChimp or SendinBlue or some kind of email client account to be able to use this because you've got to hook it all up. So put in what you want your title to say and what you want your button to say. Subscribe is perfect for me and whatever you want down below here. Obviously like any other text field you can justify it left, right, center, bold, italicize, add links, add media if you want to. And you can add something afterwards in the footer if you want to right here. I'm going to leave mine just like this. Now here's where we need to hook it up to an email account. And for today's I'm going to use MailChimp but there's all kind of different options there. Active campaign, Aweber, campaign monitor, etc. Now to hook up a list you need to add an API key and an account name. For MailChimp I've got MailChimp open here. Go over to sign into your MailChimp. A lot of people have problems with this finding it. It's not obvious. Once you're in your MailChimp account, go down to the bottom to your profile name here. Click on it. And go to your profile. Once you're in your profile, you'll see a list of titles at the top here. Go to Extras and there's a little drop down and you can find your API keys. If you scroll down a bit there's a list of your API if you've not got any hit the create a key to create a new one when you're happy just copy the one that you want I've already got mine set up in here if we go back to here you can put your account name in there's the name of my account up there obviously you want to put your account name in there Then go back, copy whichever API key you want, and drop it in there. Once you've done that, hit the submit button. And once it's hooked up to it, you can select one of your mailing lists up here. Great, so we're all set up. If you don't put a list in there, these fields won't show up on the front end. Okay, moving down to fields. You can choose how you want to show them. I want a single name field. Less, I find usually with subforms and things like that, the less you ask people to fill out, the more likely they are to do it. I don't want to use any custom fields. Success action, display a message. Success, that's fine for me. If you want to put spam protection on, you can use that. And you can use Google Capture or something like that, or Recapture, and set up your account. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Don't want to link this to anything. Background wise, let's make it dark. There we go. Okay. Let's move on to our design and quickly do a bit, little bit of design layout wise. Body on left, form on right. Yep, that's going to work on me. I don't want the name full width, I want to shorten these up a little bit. So they're both on the same line, so it's skinnier. There we go, it's a bit more like it. And then of course you can customize fields how you like. I'm really not going to do a whole lot to this. Let's give them some round corners perhaps. A few rounded corners. I'm going to put 50 picks in there, just put in 50, it'll put in the picks for you. 
that's rounded those off let's push those across slightly they look a bit too tight to the left we can do that with a little bit of padding on the left hand side say 25 and again just put in the pixel the 25 it'll put in the pixel value for you that's more like it and let's do similar to the button we roll on down there's our button use custom styles for the button text colors fine let's make the button purple and common to most Divi modules if you roll over the dark writing here any of the dark writing you'll see some icons appear if there's a little arrow there it'll let you set desktop state when your mouse is not on it which will leave as purple and a hover state which obviously is when your mouse is on it let's turn that to red when the mouse is on it there we go and make sure you're on the one that you want to affect in this case button background okay don't want a border on there but I will make it rounded a bit like our fields up at the top so the border radius I'll give it the same 50 pixels great that works fine but what I'd like to do is have it stick to the top or stick to the bottom or stick to both when they roll it up and I like it to be full screen so it stretches full width of my screen or any other screen that it's on so let's do that so I'm happy with the actual form itself we can save that let's go into the row that it's sitting in and as you can see we've got a bit of padding top and bottom I'm going to get rid of that in a moment so I'm going to go into the row I'm going to go over to design sizing I want to make it full width so I'm going to drag the width up to 100% I'm going to take that 100% control C and paste it in max width below control V or you can just type it in if you prefer now we've got us a nice full width sub form okay well let's make it sticky like I said it's got a bit of padding on the top and bottom so we'll get rid of that padding before we do that if we close up sizing go into spacing padding top and bottom simply gonna put a zero in there it'll put in the picks again hit the chain it does the opposite side so we've lost the padding there great so now I want it to stick at the top when we roll up and to do that go over to the advanced go down to scroll effects sticky position now you can choose to stick it to the top to the bottom or both I had it stuck to both in the last video let's perhaps just stick it to the top in this one when it rolls up there it's going to stay up there until they roll down to the bottom of the page if you wanted it both like we had it before you stick the top and bottom it'll stick to the top and when they roll down it'll stick to the bottom as well so choose whichever one you want I'm going to leave it on just stick to top for this demonstration today and we're pretty happy with that let's save our changes here we'll save the page changes let's exit the visual builder and here we go here's our page there's our little opt-in form coming up from the bottom there when it gets to the top it's going to stick people can enter their details and sub when they're ready when they roll back down the page it's going to go back to where it was So there you go guys, there's a sticky MailChimp email opt-in form. Really useful thing to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.